Hey Bruno S82 Tube here and I just want to go ahead and show y'all how to go ahead and make your free ringtones using your own music from iTunes just by using GarageBand alright first of all you're gonna need to open up iTunes and you need to open up GarageBand alright let's open this up my playlist here and the cool part about this, if I haven't told y'all already, is you can actually select exactly what part of the song. You can, um, however long you want it to be, however short you want it to be. Um, a lot of times if you go online and you try to download a, um, a ringtone, it already has a little portion of the song. They they want you to buy it for about two bucks. Um, do here, you're in GarageBand. If you've never used this before, don't worry about it. It's, no, uh, it's not going to be hard. Uh, you can top portion right there and you click on track and you want to go ahead and uh, delete track right now it is going to get rid of that piano okay now we're good for right now we need to go ahead and switch to iTunes when you switch to iTunes now you need to go ahead and um, pick which song you want okay. click and hold and you drag it on here to the playlist gonna tell you it's converting it'll take a, take a second to do All right, once it's converted you are going to see the track here in orange and make sure it's all the way to the left of course if you just press the play button it's gonna play the play the song for you okay so we don't know what you want to do make sure you come to this button right here it says turn cycle region on or off you want to make sure cycle region is on little portion right there that I just grabbed that I'm moving that pretty much in essence is your is your ringtone okay move that to where you want your ringtone to start and end so I actually know what part of the song I like the best about where it starts is right there and this is cool this is where you kinda get to play with it and, and I can see I want it to be a little longer you want to make sure your, your ringtone is really not uh, any more than about 22 seconds, all right? And then it just gets kind of kind of dumb. Uh, so let me see what that sounds like. As you can see, that last little half second there had a voice. I don't want the voice in there. So I'll just take half a second off of there. Pause it, come up here to share. It's very easy, that's all you gotta do. Um, send song to iTunes, okay, but let's just go and send ringtone to iTunes. And it's gonna convert, then it's gonna give us a preview. And there it is, right? Um, it's very important at the beginning, name it what you want it to name or else it, when it appears in iTunes it automatically goes to the last one you use so it's too easy though to fix it all you gotta do is change it in here so, snow, boom, there it is and, it, and that's real easy that's all you do, you make any any ringtone you want pretty much using that right there um, go ahead and connect the USB on your Mac, on your, excuse me, on your, on your storm, and uh, let's wait for it to appear right there. As you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's connected, and uh, bring your attention right there. You're gonna open that up, open up the folder, find where it says ringtones. It's got a ringtones folder already. Okay, bring that over here to where you can see. Right. Like I said, it already comes. You don't have to create a folder for it. It already has one. And these are all my uh, ringtones so far. Let's see. You come back here. Go ahead and when it comes time to share, I actually recommend you going ahead and just clicking on share ringtone to iTunes because what it does then, okay, what it does then is it saves it saves it for you right there under ringtone. Uh, let's say I just want to see my ringtones. Okay, just go to ringtones and they're all right there. So I take uh, take this one right here. 
click and hold of course just like you gotta do with anything to bring it onto another folder and let's go ahead and drop it in there all right this is an important part right here for it to play as a ringtone in the blackberry storm you have to change it to mp3 it is so easy dude all you gotta do is click on it once right there make sure that dot stays in there whatever you do with the name dot mp3 mp3 uh, I'm gonna bring this little pop-up window that shows up right there once you do that it asks you you sure yeah use mp3 same click out of that once you do them all it's so easy you don't even have to sync using pocket Mac okay you don't even have to eject your blackberry you have to disconnect it of course you, the proper way to take it off is eject it first go ahead and eject it once it disappears that means we're good to go now okay there we go now I unplug it from there all right now I come to media and once you click on ringtones okay it's gonna scan for all the new ringtones and it takes about a good 15 seconds depending how many you put on there of course alright click on my ringtones of course it has to go to my ringtones and here's the ones we just did snow ringtone from uh, red hot chili peppers It's uh, nine seconds that we did it. I'm not sure why the initial screen only says two seconds, but it's actually nine. All right, there's that first one we did. I think that's the same thing, actually. So that's pretty much how you make your uh, how you make your own ringtone. Uh, 